a mock-up allow you to present your idea to a client in a certain context so that it look it look nicer. In fact, uh, there's tons of mock-up here on I'm on Graphic Burger website and see there's some mock-ups to say that I did a design for a van. Well, my client will be much more impressed if he see his actual design on a photo of a van. So most of the time it works the same. It's an Illustrator file that you just download and when you open it, it look like that. And then you just double click on a uh, dynamic layers, it open, you just copy paste your design and uh, that's it, you're done. So let's see uh, step by step uh, how do we uh, use uh, this thing here. So I'm gonna open my, uh, I'm gonna open my, my mock-up here. Uh, let's see. Okay, and it's empty. Um, what I have to locate is the layer when, in which I want to work. Uh, so let's say I want I want this guy here, and in my particular design, I didn't use an iPhone, so I'll just uh, uncheck the uh, the eyes of the layers of the iPhone and the iPad. I want to put my design on the laptop, so I'm just gonna open the the layer up until I see this guy here. This is a, uh, a smart object. So the way it works in Illustrator, you just double click on it, it open a new window and you will just place your design here and it will come here. How do you do that? Okay, let's say my design is an Illustrator here. I just simply and plainly save the file, Illustrator format, uh, no problemo, and in your uh, screenshot of your design in Photoshop, you just import. I, I will use uh, import and uh, incorporate my, uh, my layer here. I just have to locate where my Illustrator file is. So it's just here, it's just here, it's just here. And I'm going to import it uh, plainly uh, just with the default option. And there it is, my design is here. So now I have to scale it on the screen because I don't leave it like that because when I go on the website, see, it's it's like, it's longer than the actual screen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna zoom out here in Photoshop with spacebar command and alt. I'm just gonna enlarge the, uh, the, the, the dynamic uh, object here and I'm gonna press enter. Uh, remember, do, do not use the shift uh, command anymore in Photoshop to uh, enlarge in proportion because uh, now Photoshop, you have to not click the shift when you uh, when you transform things. I don't know why, but it's like that. So when your design is here, pretty easy. You just save it and pop, pop, pop. It pop in your, uh, in your, uh, in your, uh, in your mock-up. Uh, sometimes there is other option in your in the, in the layout. So see here, I have the address. I can even customize the address of my client. I just double click on that and then I just double click and then it will open an illustrator and I will be able to customize the address of my, uh, my client here. Uh, it's very, very, very straightforward. Uh, I just go there and I go uh, random here and random name. Random here, for instance, and I just uh, I just save it and then automatically in Illustrator, it will come in Photoshop. I just save and I just close and I just save and I just close and I have my pretty nice mock-up with my client, uh, uh, my design here and the address of my client here on the, uh, on the address bar. Um, then to send to my client, I will just save as this file here. Uh, so I'll just go, uh, uh, save as uh, for web, for instance, and I'll just say uh, I just select JPEG here. I can I can do this by uh, saving as. Also, I check the option so it's not too heavy, but not too uh, not too uh, not 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 too much compromise on the quality here. And then uh, that's it. I just I have my mockup here. I can send this very nice thing uh, to my clients and it'll be able to see my website in context so that it will, it, uh, it will communicate the idea more, more clear and more easier.